No, there's, no, there's none of those on that end, because this is where the elevator used to sit against. Ah. So it can only be one way around. All right. Big lift coming up. We can go for not whilst holding it. Oh, you're going to do it. Ah. Yeah. This is the thing about this, because... Have you, you two need to come in there? In the middle. In the middle. Yeah. And then poke it in there as far as you can. Yeah. And then somehow lift the end up to get in prop on there, yeah. and then we can sort of push yeah. the slide. Yeah. Rather than just trying to walk it in there. Did you two get it out? Yeah. That's why I said we've got it so far. Oh, then it's out. Back. Ah, you're right, okay. In the correct order, we're going in, aren't we? So, yes. Oh, it's not so bad this time, now he's got half the weight. It needs to go a bit further. Because uh, the portal to the future is. Because he is about exact. Yeah. So what's got to come off? A piece of metal, metal there. A bit more. Get the gas. Well, maybe. Not a bad idea. Get the gas and just. Oh, they haven't said that. Look, it, would it. Does it come far Look. enough if we bring it just to rest? No, you, it'll still be. No, that. That it'll hole, all get in the way. Hole, we've got to line up. That's no, no, I was meaning to just pull it out so you could get enough room to get into the, the grinder. Oh, well, if I get the gas out. You just cut it out where it yeah. is. So, should we lift it back, lift it back up? Should I mark it first where you want yeah. to gas it? Is it clear? Because Phil can't see it. No, I can't see it, but if you look, you've got a quarter of an inch overlap there, look. Whereas that is just beautiful. That was a paint. All weighed. <laughs> Successful yeah. weighing. Any more that are like right ready? Uh, I wasn't weighing. Oh, right. right. Any more that are ready? Here you go. There's a food there. Yeah, yeah. Is there a load to go? Yeah, of course there is. There's a load to go. Yeah. You can get rid of the lot. <laughs> Fat as butter they are. <laughs> right, let's go and pick up your right, uh, Lovely. Joke. How's it going down shed then? Yeah, it's busy. Well, no, it's not. But... <laughs> Yes, I come that side. And pull it towards me. If you can. Hang on, this might be a might be a two-hander. Two More? Less? Yeah, right, so me and Phil just dipped out to go and pick up his tractor. <laughs> so the holes line up. God, look at that. Yeah, well, that counts as like well. Yeah. yeah. Let's just get it working, shall we? Yeah, I'm in favour of that. Oh, yeah. oh, I need to put those brackets on to take those. Yes. And then... Do stuff. Do shaking to see whether it all fits. Oh, you'll be glad to know I overtook the dock. Gave him all the horn. Yeah. And the finger. Fingers? Yeah, fingers, yeah. Or yeah. finger. But fingers, actually. Fingers. I, think, I always think one finger's a bit rude. Well, I think... Two, two fingers is jovial. Very American. Here he is. See, I was wondering if he was going to take that to Ralph. Yeah, and bring the other one back. Bring the other one back. I think he will later when he pushes in. Okay. We won't sack him just yet. Not, no, not today anyway. So he's ready for bolting and stuff. Bolts. You've got you've got bolts through there then. Sorry? You've got bolts through there. All the four bolts on the front are through. They're going through a circular hole rather than a square hole. Yeah. They'll probably need manipulating around as we tighten them up. But Have you just put bolt or you put the coach bolts back coach in? Coach bolts back in because he should, the hole is big enough that he should, when you tighten him, push the edges for them. Oh, to the try and take him in. The coach box should push through the I hole. see. He's coming back again, look. Ah, he's putting diesel in. Yeah, he was doing... Just doing laps. Yeah. Well, the old gas hammer worked anyway. Yeah. Cut that ruddock. Yeah, it should be all right, shouldn't it? I reckon so. Right, it's all coming back together here. It is odd standing here with a gap now, isn't it? Yes, it does seem strange. And obviously, it's proud the other side. We're nearly at the point of putting the gearbox back through. If John's... Gas the holes out wide enough. We'll soon find out. Oh, perfect. 17, here he is. Can't read them on these things. Do fantastical things at the front. Yep. So you do the top two first. Yep, near side. Uh, yeah, near to me. Yep. Top there. Yep. Hang on. Easy. Yeah, that is... Spin it! Yeah. 
So what we're doing is pulling the conveyor so he's flush against the front here. And then the brackets on the back, they got like a oblong hole for like a slide. So we get him tight this way, which is where he was. It's all these little pieces of wood. Oh, I got those to lift it up with. Oh, I see. Oh, sounded bad. Oh, I think I rounded the nut, that's what I've done. Oh. So a look. I've got a 17 spanner handy. Just frape on him a bit. He will seem fairly tight. Oh yeah, I think I, I think I hit the mark and then he just the nut gave in. Right, right one more then. Right, right Good. Let's get it on oh, before. The, I think you'd be fine. Okay, okay. Same job now around the back, which means getting in under. One of us got to get in under. Do you want the trolley? Um, no, I'm just in the back. So this is now pulled forward, so it's up against this. Did you have that 17 mil spanner? Tighten up this. A 17 mil spanner? I don't think I'll get in there with So yeah, tighten that up, and then that is all secure. You've got to put the skirts back on. These holes here are tapped, which is handy and threaded, so we just bolt them on. And then we'll be nearly getting to the point. I guess the next job then will be the gearbox. Get all that through, I'm happy. Um, yeah, you want to check the get it all on before we put the belt on. Yes. I think yeah, the, putting the belt on will be the easy bit at the end, hopefully. Yes. All right, one more bolt to do up and then we can remove this frame. Wheel him out. Wheel him out. Remove the park brakes. I get the park brakes. Oh, yes! Now, before anyone says it, that this is now gonna be awkward because it sticks out the side of the wagon. The elevator used to sit there anyway, didn't it? He probably stuck out further. Yeah, we're not going to just drive into the first building we come to, I don't expect. What it allows us to do by having it out there is not be rubbing the trough with the tractor wheels and scuffing them up. Big moment coming up, we're going to refit, or reset, I should say, the gearbox into there. Mm. Someone's knobbed off with our um, pallet forks. Yeah, look at Joe. Push forward. Push forward. Okay, okay. They've got a little paint from there. Yeah, it's fucking flaky. All right, so we've got him there. It's not exactly where he needs to be because he's got to sit on this chock. So, John's idea should work. We're going to screw these bolts in tight. That'll lift the gear lift up. Slide the plate in underneath these holes here. And then uh, let him back down again. Cool. Look at that, right? Did more if it can. Jesus. If you give him a wiggling and I'll get my finger and I'll pull I'll see if I can work it all out. No? No, it's good. Just yeah, that's fine. Do tappy tappy with some bits of woody, woody. I'm gonna get a new block. You just rooted it, is it? Oh. Ah. I haven't got. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. And then we've got to touch that again for a bit. Is that what they call precision tapping? Yes. Can you just... the torch? Yeah. The gearbox is where he wants to be, obviously, because he's bolting yeah. the top. It's the plate just needs. Okay, which way's the plate got to go? You've got to go towards the that wall behind okay. me. Okay. Go with. You want a spanner? I want shit to not fall on my face. Yeah, might be out of luck with that one. In a bit on that one. Oh! Is that a tack shot? Right <laughs> in the Johnson. Wood on wood. Uh, that one is within threads, I think. See? How tight were they? I can't remember, I'm honest. I don't remember them being super tight. Do you want the other bolt? I wouldn't tighten them up too tight just yet, because you might want the wiggle. Can you tap this plate back towards the back of the wagon ever so slightly as well? Yeah, that one's beautiful. Yeah, finger tight all the way in. Yeah, see, I can't tighten that. He's gone tight, has he? Yeah. 
Oh, that's the wrong one, that's fine. Idiot. Yeah. Good wrist workout, this. <laughs> Can't put that in. <laughs> At the moment, he's the PTO shaft looking down. Oh, okay. So this one whizzing up, or should I just put the breaker bar on it? Um, let's do the top ones first. Great success. One times gearbox installed. Now comes the shaft. Whilst it's out, we might as well grease it all up as well as we can. If I had a socket oh, with yeah. a lovely rack like that, my, my days would be wonderful. You, you my, consider your life a success? Yeah, because my socket set, the, the plastic disintegrated on that oh. years ago. So I've, What do you consider a nice rack? Well, you know, a nice... <laughs> Well, they're all in Don't rise to it, don't no. rise to it. Uh, I'm going to stick with it, nice little thingy box. <laughs> you never know, John, this might open up doors of being trio wagon specialists. Not that, I don't know if you want to be that or not. It's not much of an accolade. Uh, I mean, it, I don't know, you know, I'm not knocking. It's fun once, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it'll be fun when it works well. Probably going to go too, mate, isn't it? Do you it? have to go as far as the... See that? Yeah. That bit? That bolt has got to go Set there. Sit in there, okay. Okay? Yeah. Have you got the bolt? No, it's in that red tub. We're a bit worried about the clearance to that, but I think it's fine. I don't know how we're going to take it out if it's not fine. If it's not fine, it'll hit it, and it'll soon make it fine. Yeah. I'm just worried about thrashing this one too much because there's a bearing in there. Yeah. Oh, mind your fingers. You've got about another half inch to go. Yeah, it should be threaded from there on in. Yeah. I mean, you feel like you should just go through. Yeah. Where's that torch? He, he should. Fly in there. I can't believe you can line that up anymore. Winning? I think so. Oh, good. <laughs> Trying to cradle your head. Yeah, now he's going up. <laughs> right, next job. Got to take the drive motor off. Um, thread the pipes back through where they come, and they're just going to come out the bottom of the. A bracket underneath John there, so that we can actually reach here now because we're we've moved this further away than the pipes can reach the way they're threaded. God, believe in yourself, John. There it is. Hey. <laughs> Slightly heavier than I thought he was. Look at this. This is a good bicep shot. That's the gun show. Tense up. Tense up. I got this to your knee. I got dogger's knee. Can we get that through there to start with? Through? Yeah, he's obviously got to go through there first. You with me? Can you see the? No, not at all. Right. Do you want to get me a screwdriver? Biggest one. Biggest one you can find. Phillips head one. Right, we're getting somewhere now. Motor is on. It took a bit longer than we should have done. We know how to do it for next time. Yeah, next time we'll be. We'll be like an F1 team. Yeah. What? <laughs> Pay loads of money. Yeah. So yeah, pipes rerouted. They go perfectly up that way, so John's just tying them up there. Some cable ties. Skirts and belt going on. Then we might even be able to try it. Imagine that. Imagine we've done all this and it doesn't work. Mm. No, no. PTO shroud going on. We just put the skirts on as well, so they're now on. So we're at the point we can mount the belt. So to speak. I think that says more about us than it does about anyone else that we find out. <laughs> to be an innuendo. What happened to the joiner thing? It's in that well organised filing cabinet of bits we've taken off. Sort of in this area. <laughs> well, about there. We are some boys, Phil. To fit there. Let's yeah. do a, a rate Dr. Phil's outfit choice today. We've got the lavender chinos <laughs> with the braces. Yeah. He has done the flies up for the video. Yes, I know. That's a, it's what I call my comfort fit. <laughs> Midweek. <laughs> Midweek. Midweek attire. <laughs> do, do you think I could launch the range on the channel? Oh, well, a lot of it. You get some merch. Would Dr. Phil merch. To Hollister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you reckon, folks? <laughs> Phil went into Hollister. <laughs> <laughs> in Exeter, thinking it was a pub, looking for a pint. <laughs> Look, don't share my, uh, all my faux pas. Oh dear. Anyway, it looks like it's a set, 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 set,
Yeah, nice. Spanish, leave them alone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Shaft going on. Right, do pushing. So. Right, everything is back on, apart from the steps. Look at that, belt's on. I hope to God he works. Look at it! Just seeing what the belt's doing. Because he's got that groove, groove, groove and rib. Yeah. He shouldn't come out anywhere. He looks good. Head round the other side. Look at this! Out the side of the track there. So it's ever so slightly wider and he throws it a little way so you can probably stay a foot off the trough and hopefully he'll throw it in. We won't know until we go and try. Oh, what a couple of days of a project that's been. So the top of the bed is about three inches taller than the top of the trough and he just drops it in there lovely. You can see all this is on the floor from yesterday when we fed out. That was with us trying to do it from where the bed originally was sat. Look at that. Why didn't we do this a long time ago? You have got a drive still quite close to the um, feed trough and it might be worth us lopping off those hooks on the end that the elevator used to sit on. That'll give you another couple inches grace. We've run out of battery at the crucial point. We're gonna follow along with the phone. Calf, you're gonna have to make up your mind where you're going pretty quick, mate. You've had to be covered in silage. So you can see how close John's driving, but that is working perfectly. Covered the calf in silage. Into thousand speed we go. We do still need to sort all this out. Get rid of that thing that's spinning. Get rid of that ram. I'll zero it again. There you are. It just drops it in there lovely. Perfect. It's so good. Oh. How much is on the floor? I don't think you put any on the floor. Success. Cup of tea. Or th yeah. I am so glad that's worked. Because that is one less thing that cannot upset us now when I'm in the feed out. Now we've done all this, the cows will go out next week and it'll be pointless, but there you are. Calves are being a bit cheeky. There's a lot of mooing going on, which normally means that there's calves in the wrong pens or whatever. They've all got feed. So I can only assume that's what's happened. We are back on the GoPro. It is the next morning. Can you hear that roaring up there? There's a calf in the wrong pen. Anyway, before we get going with this morning's work, um, this will be the end of this video. I just wanted to show you this. So this is our 6470 that has been away to Rundles. It's got a new gas strut on it that we've got on this. Absolutely ferocious. But I've been saying this tractor has been away to have some work done on it, um, which it has. We even picked it up yesterday. And what they have done is this. So they've put a switch on the pillar here for the headstock. So usually when you want to unlock the hydraulic pins on the loader, you'd have to scroll through this computer here. You'd have to press this three times and then hold OK. And then whilst you're holding OK, you've also got to press that button to unlock the pins. Well, the computer has become a little bit temperamental. I don't know if it's a switch pad here or the keypad um, or the actual computer itself, but you can't always scroll through the pages. Um, which is obviously not helpful if you want to get an attachment off the front um, to the point that when we took this out to them we couldn't get the spikes off so we had to take the spikes with us um, so what they've done is they've put in a bypass to here so just taking the same wire up to here um, so now you hold that one and hold that button as well and um, that does the hydraulic pins it's a, it's a lot simpler obviously you're just doing that than it is having to scroll through all this so um, good job done will make life a lot easier. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. I'm so happy that feeder wagon works. Oh, I cannot tell you. Um, that is gonna improve our quality of life to no end. Just knowing that it's actually gonna work is something. So thank you very much for watching. As always, you can go down to the description and check out all our other channels and all of the links we have down there to various things. And we'll see you on another video very soon. Cheerio.